Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Good Mr. Evening. Eddie. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I retired too. Oh, really? Why? Yeah, because, well, my weekends, my weekend and today was so tired. So really? Busy. Yeah. Hey, you we have many things to do. We have uh, uh, many people. Oh, but that's good. I mean, it's good for the for the business, right? Good for your mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's because good for, for good for the business. Yeah, for you it's very tiring. Yeah, but it's yeah. but it's beneficial. It's beneficial in the end, right? You, it's beneficial for the strength, or right? The future, is, the future is good. Right, you are going to have your estreno there later on. <laughs> so it, it is going to be beneficial for all of you as well. Well, uh, hello, Crisia, how are you? Crisia is here already. That's very good. Hello, teacher. How was your good weekend? Evening. Oh, good. <laughs> is it like good. <laughs> it was, it was you don't exciting. Ask me, please. <laughs> it's like, oh. Mm. A it little was, busy. It was busy as well. Why? What were you doing? Uh, I was. Yes, sir. I was. The una boda wedding. Oh, you you, you you had a wedding, but it was not your wedding. No. Not my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because if it was your wedding, it was like ah. Oh, we were not invited <laughs> come on no <laughs> so you had a wedding you had a wedding yes. on the weekend that's fantastic yes. right i like weddings they are pretty awesome see sí. yes so you were dancing it's really a beautiful lot. Mm, yes see sí. what well, i was dancing you were a dancing. little <laughs> a little bit right a you little bit you was dancing the the what is the song? The uh, well, depending. Right? The <laughs> no, but that's for the street fifteen. <laughs> that is when ah, you know. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah it's for quince años. But it, well, the good thing is that you were there. That's pretty awesome. Excellent. So you were in a wedding. You were working. My goodness, you were doing many things. I was working as well. Oh my camera! I was working during the whole weekend. So. It is like my my everyday thing. I I work on Saturday, I work on Sunday, so it's it's pretty awesome. Well, because you work I, those days, then yes, those days I, I work on Saturdays and Sundays, but uh -oh. in in my my everyday job, right? So ah, you you don't have you don't have rest. No, well, I have a day during the week. I have Mondays off and Thursdays. Oh. Mondays and Thursday. Yes. But as I, I work in an academy, I work on Saturday and Sunday. Oh. That's okay. why. Yes. I am the I am the angry principal there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's a pretty cool job, right? I work there during the weekend and during the week, right? But I have my days off during the week. So weekends are always tough. Mr. Gustavo Adolfo, welcome to the class. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I had a busy day at work. Yeah, you And I need to finish the hunger which for tomorrow. Mm, my goodness, right? You sound tired. Nah, it's a normal day. It was a normal day for you. Okay, well, that's awesome. Let's finish working on what we were doing, right? We were working on quantifiers, right? On the previous class, <laughs> we were working on quantifiers and these were sentences that you can use in order to express quantities of people, right? A lot, many, a few, some, right? For you to replace quantities, right? You don't say like, 40% of Salvadorians, like 50% of Salvadorians, 80%, but you use quantifiers to express these type of sentences. 
remember our agreements, right? Practice your English. It is only the, almost the final day for me to tell you this. Practice your English as much as possible. Be respectful, attend all your classes, keep your cameras active, finish the educational platform. I know you did it already, but it's a good reminder. And keep an active and cooperative activity in the WhatsApp group. Thank you everybody, because when you ask one question, then everybody is there like, is this, that, this, 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 and they are helping you out, right? We were working on the present continuous sentences, right? And we were working on quantifiers. Now, can you give me one example sentence using a quantifier? All the families like the dogs. All families like dogs. Good, very good. Another example. A lot of couples married in this on December. A lot of in couples. A lot of couples married get married in December, in, right? In December. In December. Very good. Another example. Mr. Gustavo. A lot of people loves cats. A lot of people love cats, right? Give me one example with no one. No one. Uh huh. No one. No one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no one. <laughs> No one here uh, likes papaya. <laughs> uh, no one loves coronavirus. Ah, oh, yeah, that's true. No one loves coronavirus. That's a very good sentence. I hate him. <laughs> huh? Good. Another sentence. No one. Not very even. honest. Yes. No one. No one here likes papaya. Ah, hmm. uh, me too. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, you, you, you don't like it. I don't know, Chris or Gustavo, do you like papaya? No. No, I don't like it. No, so no one here Some likes people. papaya. No one people dislike uh, receive money. Okay, so, but remember when you say no one, ya no podemos ocupar people. No okay. one, no one dislikes receiving money. Um, yeah, who's going to say no? <laughs> Imagine if they say, hey, tengo unos 300 dólares aquí, los querés. I know. No, no, I have, I have five hundred dollars. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> you haven't finished. You haven't finished asking when the person is taking the money. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you say like no one dislikes. No one dislikes receiving money. Good. Give me one example with some. Some Salvadorians. Some families have a car. Uh, some people like uh, pupusas. No, I'm Loroco, sorry. <laughs> some, hey, people, hey. Hey. <laughs> some people like Loroco, right? And some people have a car, right? Some families have a car. That's very good. Mr. Gustavo, your sentence? The some people. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> some people I don't know, right? There are some people that I don't know. Some people. It's a new sentence. Doesn't dislike children? Some people doesn't dislike children, right? And some people dislike children. Because they say, Ish, la bicha, que bulla, me. Que bulla. So some people dislike children. We never know, right? Mostly in... Some, pe some people travel to the other country on December. Some people travel to other countries in December. That's very good, right? It's a very, very good sentence. And it's true. Some people travel to other countries in December. That's very good. Let's see. The last one is going to be with a few. A few. A few. Uh -huh. a, few, a few a few persons a few a few people like 
a few people, perdón, a few people like, ¿cómo se llama esa, esa cosita? La flor de isote. Ah, ok, isote flower, right? A few isote people flower. like isote flower. I don't, it's a national symbol, people. Don't eat the national symbol. Don't eat the national Yeah, do you eat the toro goses? Ah, oh. no, right? No, the flor de isote is a Some national symbol. Some people have the pet. Yeah, some people have them as a pet, right? It's okay. And a few. I have a few, a few friends. <laughs> I have a few friends, right? I have a few friends. Good. It's really sad. A, a yeah. few people like <laughs> get up early in the morning. <laughs> a few people like to get up early in the morning, right? When or when I am when I am going to work, I say. And I see people running in the in the on the street, and I see people exercising very happy. And it's like, where do they work? <laughs> because I see them running and enjoying or having breakfast or something. It's like, or or they don't work, or I don't know where do they work. But they don't work. Yeah, early in the morning, like at five in the morning, and they are like <laughs> exercising, and I am barely awake at that time influencers <laughs> yes yeah yo apenas voy apenas tratando de despertar <laughs> and they are there running Richard, or, what or is in the meaning of happily happily alegremente ah, okay yes i always send a message to all of your other friends who, who fall asleep or don't connect <clears throat> as early as you you see <laughs> but they are here hello mr alexander dura and you see huh it works. It works. It's like, pues sí, boca chiva galarda. Que día hoy, bo. Yo ya es lunes, hay clase. They run to the club. <laughs> Maybe they were there with the cobija, right? With the tiger cobija. <laughs> Watching TV there is like, y que no tenía clase ahora, bo. Y que no domingo, pues. <laughs> They run to the class. Thank you very much, Alexander, for coming. That's very good. Sorry for, for ruining your moment, but we are here. <laughs> okay, so that's a very good thing. We were practicing this in the previous class, and we were also replacing, right? We were also replacing the information uh, presented, right? That many houses have more than three TVs, right? that a few members or a few families eat dinner together in El Salvador, it doesn't happen, right? Because they all eat in front of the TV or in the bedroom or in each of the rooms, right? Many Salvadorian mothers work, right? High school students in El Salvador, they almost, none of them has a job, right? And adults between 18 or 35 get married, right? That's what we were mentioning in the previous class. And for sure, many, many, many adults in El Salvador live with their parents, right? And it's like, ¿cuántos años tiene? Ah, como 35. And still in their houses, right? So it is good. It is good when you have your house and then you have your parents living with you, right? Because you are you are welcoming them here. But if you live still in your parents' house, that's a problem, right? Or you get married and you go to your house with your family. Uh -huh. right? Yes, a problem. And maybe not, <laughs> right? That's a, that complicates everything. So that's what we were comparing, yes, uh, in the previous class on Thursday, right? About the percentages of people. And here we have, the changing family, right? Here we have a little reading. And in this one, we have the different members of the family that I know that you have seen in the platform. Emily, Ben, Josh, Steve, and Judy. They are the members of this family. And we are going to go over a little bit of reading practice today. And then we are going to go to the platform to go and work, right? Here we have, I am going to read it first. If you have any question about the meaning of the words, this is the moment. Do you have any question about meaning? Uh -huh. 
meaning questions? No? Do you know all the vocabulary mm. presented there? I don't have question for the moment. You don't have questions for the moment. Do you know what the meaning of household chores? Freedom. Okay, freedom. Freedom is libertad. 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 Freedom. When your parents are not with you, right? When they are not over you all the time. So you have the freedom to do whatever pick you up. want. Pick her up is recogerla. Pick her up. Yes, pick her up. Recogerla, right? When you go and you mm. pick the person in a specific place. Uh -huh. This is he's playing his music louder. Uh -huh. Louder. With louder. all the volume, right? Okay. Como mucho volumen. Uh -huh. Louder is like a todo volumen. And do you know what the meaning of chores? Chores, but not yeah. chores like the ones that you use, right? Household sure. chores. Obligaciones de la casa. Household chores. Uh, household. household. Household chores son las obligaciones de la casa. Sus deberes en la casa. Todos los quehaceres. That is the meaning of household chores. Chores are responsibilities, right? The responsibilities that you have at home. That is chores. And for sure, uh, most of the kids, some of them have activities to do after school and some other kids don't have anything to do after school and they are enjoying the freedom of not doing anything, right? They are enjoying the freedom of being alone at home. Did you have the, the, well, the opportunity to enjoy freedom when you were very young or not? Yeah. That you- And today too. <laughs> and today, and I, and I still do it, you see. Yeah. Yes. In many of the cases, it's very like challenging to call it freedom, but you had a lot of responsibilities in the house, right? You had to cook, you had to clean, you had to do everything on your own, right? There was no one doing it there. Hey, we have Mr. Elmer too here. That's pretty awesome. Welcome, Mr. Elmer. Now we have more people here. Now I have all the ones that I need for the reading time. Teacher, unfortun yes? unfortun unfortunately, 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 right? Desafortunadamente. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, right? Unfortunately. Unfortunately. And listen to the reading because later on I am going to assign a paragraph to each of you for you to read, okay? I am going to start okay. with this one and it says, American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. This is paragraph one. Judy and Steve Morales have three children, Josh, 12, Ben, nine, and Emily, six. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. And here I have, now that Judy is working, Steve has to help more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it, right? He doesn't enjoy it because he has to do more things. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays. So Steve and Judy don't have a lot of time together. The next one, Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an afternoon, an after school program. Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. 
And the last one, Josh is enjoying his new freedom. After school, he's playing his music louder and is spending more time on the phone. He is also doing a few household chores. Good. Mr. Eric Cardoza is going to start with the first paragraph. The first paragraph is from here to here. Go ahead. Again? Ah, okay, okay. It's your turn. Amer okay. American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when, when both parents work? Read about the moralist family. Okay. Most married women, because it's plural, right? Women. Ah, uh, women. Now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? When both parents work, right? I know, I have been here for 16 days working on that. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, parents, parents. Parents. Okay, <clears throat> Eric Cardoza, can you read the first paragraph, please? Of, of course. So American families are changing. One important change is that most married women, women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Very excellent job. Miss Crisia Alvarenga, please read the second paragraph. Judy and Steve Morales have three children, Josh, 12, then nine, and Emily, six. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as the hospital administrator. The family needs the money, and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are but there are also some problems. Very good, but there are also some problems. The only thing, it's the computer programmer, right? Computer, computer programmer. programmer. Very good, thank you very much, Cristia. Mr. Gustavo, you are going to read about Steve and Judy. Okay, now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. She worries. Judy, worries. Worries. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturday, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot, lot of free time together. Very good job, right? Very good job. Let's continue here with Mr. Alexander Duran is going to read about Emily. Emily is having a great time in, a, in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick up her up, to she doesn't her up. Want to, to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. She doesn't want to leave. Very good. And Mr. Elmer, go ahead with Ben. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Ben's, unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Right now, he's happening most afternoons in the front of the TV. Okay. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Right? He's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Mr. Elmer, read it again. Unfortunately, um, again. Unfortunately. Uh -huh. Unfortunately. No, ben listen, listen. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's a, you're doing good. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in the in front of the TV. In front of the TV. Very good. 
And the last one is going to be for Eric as well. And I paseando, ya lo vi. The next one, <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Look sorry, at sorry. No, es que my mother bought a hamster and, and she showed me. The hamster, what a cool thing. Ah, I love them. They are very beautiful. I, 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 I thought that my camera off. <laughs> no, you were chilling there. <laughs> Go ahead. Josh. Me? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Josh is enjoying, enjoying, what is the Enjoying, enjoying. Uh, Josh, is, Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the, on the fun. He also doing a few household chores. He is also doing a few household chores. He's also doing a few household chores, right? That household. is what household chores. Those are He's also doing a few household chores. Household chores. Those are activities at home, right? They are activities at home, the household chores. Very good. So according to what we read, right? The children that are being benefited from duty working, who are they? The ones who are having a good time because Judy is working? Uh -huh. ¿Quiénes están disfrutando el hecho de que la mamá trabaje? Josh and Emily. Josh and Emily, right? Josh because he has freedom and Emily because she has an after school program. Good. Which child is not benefiting from Judy working? Ben. Ben, right? Because he doesn't have an after school program and he's just watching TV. Tell me, which family member is enjoying more freedom? Josh. Josh, right? Josh is enjoying his freedom to the top. And which family members are doing more housework? Steve. And Steve, right? The poor father, right? He's working now and also Josh. Josh. Josh is doing more housework more now house. than before, right? He's doing a few household chores. And which family member feels that she is too busy? Judy. Judy, right? Because she's working a lot. Poor Judy, right? She's having a lot of things to do, right? She's working a lot. Okay, very good. So we are going to go over, we are going to go over the platform right now because I know many of you already finished everything, right? But it is always necessary to go and stop a little bit on the platform. I'm going to open it first because I need it to load. Here we go, okay? So for us to check on everything that we have done, right? This is the exercise that we were doing right now about the changing family, right? This is the exercise that we were doing. And some of you were having difficulties because we were not reading, right? That it was a plural form, right? Which children? Cuáles jóvenes? Cuáles chicos, right? This was a plural answer. Which child? This is singular. And which family member is enjoying more freedom? Only one. Which family members, plural, right? Are doing more uh, work, right? In this one, it was a family tree, the one that we did in class. Do you remember that we did this one in class as well? But in this case, we said that uh, Andy is Sam's grandfather and Marta is his grandmother. Grandmother, right? The next one was Chris is Sam's. Chris uh, is Sam's father. Father, oh. right? Chris is Sam's father. Manuel is Sam's uncle. uncle. Uncle, good, very good. Sam is married to Yumiko. She is his wife. Wife, right? Wife. The wife. Yumiko is Sam's wife. Sam has a brother. He is married to Lisa. Lisa is Sam's sister-in-law. 
sister-in-law. Very good. And we have Teresa is the daughter of Manuel. She is Sam's cousin. Cousin, right? Cousin. Very good. Jim and Lisa have two babies, Kelly and Jimmy. Kelly is Sam's niece. Niece, because Jimmy is the nephew, right? Yeah. That was a very good thing. Excellent job. And the next exercise that we have here was the one that we did in class, right? Do you remember that we did this one on Thursday about uh, the percentages and the quantifiers? And it says in China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. How do you replace the 50%? I'm not. It's few. A lot, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of women. A lot of, a lot of women, right? Remember, women, women is it's the plural high. form of woman, right? A lot of women, because a few is under 50% and all is 100. So we have 50%. That's very good. In Australia, 87% of married couples have children. So nearly all, nearly, nearly all. all, nearly all, right? Nearly all because nearly some, all. some, it's around 50%, right? Some, uh, nearly all. Mm -hmm. In the United States, 0%. No one. No, no one. one. In the United, United States, States, no one. No one votes before, before, the, no age one votes before the age of 18, right? 18. 18. Number four, 35% of the people in Germany live alone. A few uh, people. A few, a right? Few? A few people in Germany live alone. alone. The next one, 78% of American high school students have jobs. Most American high Most school. American high school. Most American Student high school jobs. students, right? Have a job, right? And here you click on submit. And in this one, you say 35%. A few people so? say some, some. Right, some people. For me, it will be a few, right? But for me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but some they say okay, okay, but it's a, a some some people, some thirty five percent. And in the next one, here we have the changing family. That was the exercise that we were doing right now, right? The changing family. We already answered this one, and the final exercises that we had in the platform, right, were the exams, right? If you have finished everything on the platform, you for sure listened to this already. On this one, what we have here, it's a conversation, right? We are going to do the conversation and we have four questions about Catherine has, and you are going to give me the number of brothers and sisters, Nowadays, Mark is living. Sharon usually goes to the gym, and you're going to tell me where. And some of the men's younger, younger brothers and sisters, and you're going to tell me the information. Listen to the listening, and then we're going to complete the answers. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full-time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now. But I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes. I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow. How long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. That's for sure. 
four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Oh, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okay, very good. So now that we listened to the audio, do you remember how many uh, brothers or sisters does Catherine have? Seven. But, uh, seven. Seven. Seven, Seven brothers and sisters. Nowadays, Mark is living with a with friend. A friend. With, with a, a friend, friend, right? He's not living with his wife now because he hasn't uh, gotten married, but he's, getting, he's going to get married in a few days. The next one, Sharon usually goes to the gym Two times twice a week. week. Twice a week, Two. really? No, three, three times, times a week. week. Uh, three, three times, times a week, week Monday, because she goes on Mondays, on Mondays, Wednesday, on Wednesdays and, and Fridays. Fridays, Friday. right? She goes three times a week. And some of the men's younger brothers and sisters, um, they are in um, school, they have only one child, or they are working abroad. What do you remember I'm from working that working abroad. One? Really? True? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> you haven't finished the evaluations. They are working yeah, but... abroad. <laughs> and you don't remember the answer, right? I, yeah. Okay, they are working abroad, right? They are working abroad. They are working abroad, it means that they are working in a different country, right? They are working in a different country. And when she says that Sharon usually goes to the gym, they say, so you are not a couch potato, right? When they say, when you are a couch potato, it means that you don't exercise, that you don't do anything and that you are just like ah, chilling there at home. You are a couch potato, right? That's an idiom. But if you are not a couch potato, it means that you go, you exercise, you do your things. So I don't know, are you a couch potato or not? Or do you exercise a lot? Yes. Or you tell me, yes, teacher, I am a coach with it. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Or do you go to the gym and exercise and all that? No. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Sometimes we are coach potatoes then. <laughs> a coach potato is the one that says like, hey, let's go running. Ay, quizá mañana, ay, te aviso. Right, but you don't, you don't really like to do that, right? You are not very into, into exercising. So that's a couch potato. In the next one, we have to complete the conversation with do, does, or would. Mr. Eric, what will you use in the first one if you are making an invitation to a person? Uh, would you like to see a movie tonight? Would you like, right? Would you like to see a movie tonight? And Elmer, what will you include in the second one? Do you like? Do you like horror movies? Good. Number three, Crisia, what kind of music? Your friend Ricardo. And um, do does or would? Does. Does because it's your friend Ricardo, right? The third mm -hmm. person. In this one, we are going to use the present continuous form. How is your sister? A study these days. How would you complete this question, Mr. Gustavo? Is she studying these is, days? Is she studying? Is she studying these days? Good. 
No, she isn't. She, Alexander? She's working. She's working, right? She's working as a cashier at a grocery store. Is that David over there? Who? Everybody, can you help me? Who? Who is, is waiting he, for? Who is he waiting? Who is he, right? Who is he? Who is he waiting? Waiting for. Waiting. Who is he waiting for? And his girlfriend Maggie. She is she's coming. 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 She's coming. In, in on, on the, the bus. bus. She's coming in on the bus. Good, very good. And then you have, you submit the answers and for sure, all of them will be correct. That's very awesome. So we go to the next one. Here we have a multiple choice, right? We have a multiple choice. And on this one, we have to answer with the correct form of the word. They say, Jay does Football, jogging, or yoga every morning before breakfast? Yoga. Yoga, yoga. right? Because uh, you cannot say, I do football, right? Because football is with play and jogging is with go, right? ING, sports, go with go. How often do you? Go swimming. Go to go the swimming. Go. How often do you go swimming? Los deportes que terminan en ING van con go. I sometimes play baseball with baseball. my friends. Okay, play baseball with my friends because inline skating is go and aerobics is do or practice. Good. So in this case, it was a review for the sports. That's very good. And the next one that you have here, it's a reading about Audrey Tattoo. And in this one, I have one, two, three, for five paragraphs. And I am going to ask Mr. Gustavo, help me to read the beginning of the reading and the first, okay, give me just one second to fit it on the board. There you go, the beginning of the reading. Okay, there we go, now I can do it. And the first, <laughs> yeah, I was I was fighting with it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and, okay. And Mr. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Gustavo. The beginning, Audrey to two, and the first two dates. Go ahead. Audrey is born in Beaumont, France. And the beginning. Audrey acts in play, especially comedies, in high school. After that, she goes to acting school. She wins the prize Best Newcomer for her acting on French TV, 1999. Okay, good. If this were an, an exam for reading, you could have missed all of this. Si esto hubiera sido un examen de lectura, perdemos porque no leyó todo el heading, right? Audrey oh. Tatu is a young French actress. She has fans around the world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career, okay? But I, I will forgive you because you, re you read the other two in a very correct way, right? 1980s and 1990s, right? She acts in plays. In this case, plays are hora de, hora de teatro, right? When you say best newcomer, best new person, right? The best new person for her acting in the French TV in 1999. Then we have the second part in 2002, okay? And in this one, I am going to ask Crisia, 2000, 2002. Can you help me to read this part here? Uh, okay, 2000 and 2002. Audrey acts in many movies. Including Bowie's Bourgeois Bourgeois Then she then she plays a young woman called Emily in movie of the same name, Emily. Two thousand one. One. Very good, Mr. Eric. Can you help me to continue reading the next part here? I am going to erase everything for you to have the chance to read and I'm going to mark the space, this one. 
Okay, it's in French, but the films is a big international hit. Uh, Andrew? Audrey? Audrey becomes popular in many countries, including the United States. Audrey also acts in, in a field called God is Great, I'm not, 2000. Two, two, two thousand, two thousand two. Two, two thousand two, okay. Including thousand. the United States. Audrey also acts in a film called called God is Great, I Am Not, right? That was the name of the film. God is Great, I Am Not. And the last one, Mr. Elmer, can you help me with the last paragraph? 2003. I can see. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. I am fixing everything. Ah. I, I don't know what did I do. Chan, chan, chan. There you go. <laughs> Oof. I fix everything. I thought that I was not going to be able to do it. Here I go. I made a mess here in the, the screen. And okay, I know it's difficult to see. So say by the bell, I am going to read it for you. 2003, Audrey has a year. She acts in the Spanish apartment and he loves me, he loves me not. She also acts in Dirty Pretty Things. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. So according to this, so Mr. Elmer, <laughs> in high school, Audrey Tattoo acted in what? She acted in plays, on television, or in movies? In movies? In high school. Here. Oh, in TV. 1980s, 1990s. In high school. Wait, wait, wait. Vamos a pasar aquí la copia. La copia. She acts in. In high school. In, in play. <laughs> she acts in plays, right? She acts in plays, en obras teatrales, right? Many Americans like the movie Bojus Bojel, Amelie, or God is Great, I Am Not. God is Great, Emily. I Am Not. Emily. Emily, right? Americans Emily. love it, right? Americans love it. She included... There you go, including, well, she plays Amelie, right? In a movie. It's in French and here we have, but the film is a big international hit, right? Audrey becomes very popular in many countries, including the United States. So in this case, Americans like the movie Amelie. Audrey acts in three movies in what year? 2003. 2003, right? Because she acted in He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not, in Dirty Pretty Things, and she acted in The Spanish Apartment. And here we have 2003. And the last one, in her movies, Audrey usually speaks in Spanish. French. In French. So in English, in English. Look at this, no, let's, let's listen to this. It says, in 2003, this is the first time she speaks English in a movie. And Amelie was in French. French, right? She never speaks Spanish that much. The Spanish apartment was the name of the movie. So it was not a language that she used to speak. So. This is the final exam. In this one, you are not going to have the next bottom because it's the final activity, right? In this one, you are not going to have this bottom available because it's the final thing in the platform. Muchos a veces me preguntan, teacher, pero ya no me sale el botón de next para seguir. Porque hasta aquí se terminan los ejercicios de la plataforma, okay? And then you go to your progress. For sure, I am not going to have a progress because I have a... I, I am the teacher, right? I just have the ones that I do with you, who, right? I don't have all the progress of the platform, only the exams that I do with you, okay? So that's basically what you 
are supposed to have done by now. So please, if you finish all the exercises in the platform, most of you did it, right? Muchos de ustedes lo hicieron. Send me please the image of the chart to the WhatsApp group, right? Send me please this little image. This is what I need to receive from all of you, right? I need to receive this image with the complete progress. And I know that many of you have already sent it, but if you haven't, I will really ask you please to send it to me uh, today or tomorrow, right? So I am sure that all of you finish your, uh, your advancement on the platform, okay? We are going to work on the final exercises we're reading today. Here I have the information about Luke. I need one volunteer to mm -hmm. help me to read. Christian, go ahead. My name is Luke and I am 14. I live in a bright one. I, I live in Brighton. I live in Brighton. Brighton, I, pardon, I'm Brighton. I've got a brother, Jack, and a sister, Kim. Jack is the oldest, but I am the tallest. My father is a mechanic. I think he's the best mechanic in the world. My mother works in a hospital. My family is really great. My, pa my parents are very understanding and are always there when, it's, when it, it is unnecessary. They are my best friends. So when I have a problem, they are my ad advisors. Advisors. We, uh -huh. advisors. we talk about everything. There are not taboos among us. At weekend, we spend a lot of time together. Very good job. Excellent, excellent job. Now, the next one that I am going to listen reading is Mr. Alexander Duran, go ahead. Practice because all of you are going to read, go ahead. My name is Luke and I'm 14. I am 14. I'm I 14. Uh -huh. I'm 14. I live in Brixton. In Brighton. I got <laughs> in I Brighton. Got a brother. Continue. I've got, I got a brother. A, brother, a brother, Jack and sister, Kim. Jack is the oldest, but I am the tallest. My father is a mechanic. I think he's the best mechanic in the world. My mother works in hospital. My family is really great. My parents are very understanding and are always there when it's necessary. And, and as I said, they are my best friends. So when I have a problem, they are my adversary, advisors, 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 advisors. We talk about everything. There are no taboos among us. At weekend, we spend a lot of time together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Alex. It says, I've got, I've got a brother, Jack, and a sister, Kim, right? I've got. The next one. My mother works in a hospital, in a hospital. My parents, no. my parents, right, are very understanding. Yo creo que vamos a hacer una plana de parents, 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 en un audio, unos 50 veces. My parents are very understanding. <clears throat> They are always they are always there when it is necessary, right? They are my advisors. Thank you very much. Now, Mr. Elmer, and then Eric, go ahead. My name is Luke, and I'm 14. I live in Brighton. 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 I've got a brother, Jack, and a sister, Kim. Jack is the older oldest, but I'm the tallest. My father is a mechanic. I think he's the best mechanic in the world. My mother works in a hospital. My family is really great. My parents are very understanding 
and are always there when it is necessary. They are my best friends. So when I have a problem, they are my advisors. We talk about everything. They are not taboos among us. At weekends, we spend a lot of time together. Very good job, very good job, right? They are my advisors. Mr. Eric, go ahead. My name is Luke. I'm 14. I live in Brighton and I've got a brother, Jack, and sister, Kim. Jack is oldest, but I'm the tallest. My father is a mechanic. I think he's the best mechanic in the world. My mother works in a hospital. My father is, re my family is really great. My parents are very understanding and are always there when it is necessary. They are my best friends. So when I have a problem, they are my uh, advisors. Good. We talk about everything. There are no taboos among us. At weekends, we spend a lot of time together. Very good job. And Mr. Gustavo, please. My name is Luke and I'm 14. I live in Brighton. Mm -hmm. I've got a brother, Jack, and I and I sister, Kim. Jack is the oldest, but I'm the tallest. My father is a mechanic. I think he's the best mechanic in the world. My mother works in a hospital. My family is really great. My parents are very understanding and are always there when it's necessary. They are my best friend. So when I have a problem, they are my advisors. We talk about everything. There are no taboos among us. At weekends, we are spending a lot of time together. Right, among us, right. I, I, I can see that you played the game, right? Among us, right, among us. Among us was the game. <laughs> so that was good. Yeah. What is the yes. meaning of advisor? Advisors are like, a, the people who gives you a piece of advice when you need it, right? My best advisors are the people who are going to give you the best oh, way, man. right? The best way to do things, right? They are your best advisors. Okay, so remember that tomorrow we have our presentations, right? We have our final presentations, oh. right? And please, I need you to create your presentation two or three minutes each of you. I hope everybody can connect tomorrow, right? For the ones that are watching this recording, please, uh, you have your final evaluation tomorrow. It is going to be a two or three minute presentation describing yourself in third person, right? Your information, likes, dislikes, daily activities, a, a little experience of the module and any challenge that you have faced. And for sure, you have to uh, describe a little bit about your information. Uh, the presentation is in English. If you need to create material to present, that's perfect. You can create a little PowerPoint to help you. Uh, keep your cameras active and pay attention during all the presentations. Remember to ask at least, at least one question to your friends, okay? Do you have any question about tomorrow's presentation? Teacher. Yes? Uh, tomorrow, I will not have electric power. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. So send us your presentation during the day. Uh, uh, it's a joke, teacher, it's a joke. Hey, come on. I, I, you, you see how much I love you and how much I believe on you? My goodness, right? And I was like, pobrecito, pobrecito mijo, no va a tener corrientilla en su casa. Bueno, planta eléctrica. <laughs> Vaya donde el vecino a que le preste ahí el enchufe. Okay, no, I'm kidding. So I am going to see you here in the presentation tomorrow. Remember uh, to have it ready. The presentation is in English, okay? So please try to create your material to present. If you don't have any further question, then I am going to see you tomorrow. Remember, please, thank you for the ones who already sent me the picture of the progress of the platform. I have received like three or four pictures, right? And let me check, let me check. I will send you. Right, I sent, I received Gustavo's. 
subscribe picture. I received Gustavo's picture. So please send me the progress. And if you have any difficulty with the certificate, please also mention it in the group so I can forward it to the people in charge, okay? So that is going to be all for today. Remember to practice, prepare your presentation, and I am going to be more than glad to see you tomorrow for our final class. Okay, my dear students, that's all for today. Have a beautiful night and prepare for tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good. Have a beautiful Thank night. You. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful night. Rest a lot. See you, see you tomorrow. Bye.